wanted to um, share an opinion with you guys here uh, on my install. Um, I have, this is a 12 volt system. It's a 12 volt inverter pushing out 2200 watts. I got to turn this sticker upside down. <laughs> anyway, it's a 12 volt inverter. And so this is a 12 volt battery, um, 200 amp hours. And I'm wanting to add a little bit more power to it. And I kind of regret buying a battery this size. I wanted to run something by you guys. So y'all hear it too. I should have bought two 100 amp hour. And I'll tell you why. Because those, if I had two 100 amp hour, I could have put those together in series and I, would, I could have gone out and bought a 24 volt inverter. But this is 12. I can't unless I go buy another one of these. Um, on the same token, if I had bought the two 100, I could have then also bought two more and I would have a 48 volt battery um, at a reason about around 1600 bucks, right? They're around $400 per, where this was almost $800. So um, just wanted to share that opinion with you. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add two 100 amp hour batteries to this system. I'm going to bring in two more bus bars down below here on this concrete. And I will feed this battery to that bus bar along with the new two batteries to that bus bar. They have the same charging setup. We're going to get ampere time 100 amp hour. It's a great battery. Very, very pleased with this. Um, you know from previous videos, I'm running all my uh, uh, lawn equipment. I'm actually charging my big uh, six amp hour battery or six hour battery right now for the lawnmower. It does a great job. It, is, it also charges my uh, boat motor. I have um, a three horsepower boat motor and it does a great job on that too. And as you know, I'm also running this air conditioner. Uh, which is a 5,000 BTU, and I've only got uh, 240 watts, sorry for the moment, of solar feeding that part of the system. And it's running great. But I want longer run time at night, so I'm going to add the two batteries here. And looking back, that's what I'm sharing with you. I wish I had gone with the two 100 amp hour so that I could, if I wanted to reduce my cable costs and uh, the amps, flowing through the system, I could have gotten a 24 volt inverter. And ultimately, once I move this whole setup to the boat, I'm going to want 48 volts. So I can use it intermittently for my engine and with a, 20, a 48 to 12 volt step down, I'll be able to use that to support the 12 volt system on the boat as well and charge that using my Orion. So just want to share that with you. Um, if you're going into this and just beginning it, Consider, instead of buying a 200 amp hour, buy two 100 and just get the flexibility. The cabling doesn't have to change. Uh, between the, the, these batteries have a 100 amp hour maximum that they can feed from the, or sorry, 100 amp max from the uh, BMS. So between the batteries, all I need is 100 amps. But uh, once, once I combine the two, I've got 200 amp potential coming up here. So the cable has to reflect that. But I eh, wish I hadn't done this now. I'm very pleased with the battery, but I wish I had gotten two 100 amp hour. Now, if I went out and bought two more, I could put them all in parallel, have a really nice clean setup, where now I'm going to have to have two parallel batteries feeding this uh, coming in here. And I'll have one wire coming up from the new ground to this and a one hot coming up from the new hot to this hot. And then everything is back in system. And this guy will not have to change because it's the same float voltage, same charge voltage, same, um, you know, absorb. So the charger will treat both battery banks the same. But just wanted to run this by you in case anybody's about to pull that trigger. I would recommend not going with these big ones and going with the two small ones just so you have the flexibility. You could either convert that to a 24 or add two more. You've got a 48 with this. I gotta add four more of these to create 48. That's at eight or three more, sorry. And that's at 800 bucks a pop. Whereas the, uh, and I don't need, really need those hours, those amp hours. So 100, I'll show you the config once I've added it. 